Hi guys! So today I'm doing a really different video. I'm reviewing two products in one video. Sort of like a two in one. And we're going to be reviewing the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lip Colors. They look like this. I have two of them. And I also have two of the new Revlon Color Stay Ultimate Suede Lipsticks. We're going to just talk about these products. I'm going to apply them to my lips, even though I really hate doing that because my lips really hate me for it, but I'm doing it for you guys. So we're going to start with the Wet n Wild ones first, and then we'll do the Revlon. And these look like this. This is what the packaging looks like. And to me, it looks like a lip gloss. It doesn't look like a long-lasting lip color. And that's what they are. It's a long-lasting lip color. When I first bought these, I put it on, and I was like, oh, do 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 do. Oh, bad idea, bad idea, because it started to dry, started to set, and yeah, I was not a very happy person. This comes in 13 different shades, which is nice. They have a nice variety. I have two of them here. This one is called Pocket Full of Roses. And it's a really nice, sort of a blushing rose color. Really, really love that. So that's Pocket Full of Roses. And the applicators are very, just really simple. It's sort of a flat, spongy, really soft applicator, which I actually really like it. It's really soft and comfortable when you're applying it to your lips. This is called Red My Mind. And it's just a really, really bright red. So that's the red. And it's just as bright as it is in the tube. So the color payoff is really nice with these. It claims to be transfer proof. It's supposed to moisturize and condition your lips with vitamin E. It has like this flexive technology in it. So it's supposed to make your lips look nice and youthful and plump. And the color is supposed to last for eight hours. And there is a specific way that you should apply them. You don't want to apply them very casually like a lip gloss. And to compare it, let me just show you how similar these are to the Revlon Stay Glossy Glosses. It's like identical. It's kind of funny. Like it's the exact same packaging, the same curve at the top. And I mean, yeah, I mean the packaging is the same and even the applicators are extremely identical. They don't seem to last eight hours for me whatsoever. Uh, the formula feels very heavy on my lips. It feels very drying. I don't know where they get off telling you that it's moisturizing because I don't feel that vitamin E working. So I don't think that these make your lips look youthful. I think that they really do seep into those lines and they kind of emphasize it a lot more. So I'm going to go ahead and start with pocket full of roses. I'm going to apply it to my lips, show you what it looks like. You would want to do a nice thin layer. This is very pigmented as you can see on the swatches and I've tried many different types of ways of applying this. You want to make sure your lips are completely dry and they're clean. I would suggest exfoliating them the night before because I had issues with it peeling and cracking and things like that. So you want to have nice clean dry lips. And you want to do it quickly. This starts to set. Let me just tell you, it starts to set and it starts to dry um, pretty fast and it starts to get tacky. So I'm just doing little strokes. And I do like the tip. I like to take the tip and sort of line the lip. And if you do mess up, have a like makeup remover and wipe close to you so that you can clean it up immediately so that way it doesn't set. Now, I tried letting this set and then doing another coat. It didn't work. It was too heavy. It started crackling a lot. So one coat and one layer is all you really do need with this. You see how pigmented it is. So this is what Pocket Full of Roses looks like. Now, my suggestions for this it starts getting tacky immediately so do not press your lips together don't rub them together you need to just let this dry for at least three to five minutes you can feel it start to dry on your lips and if you smack your lips together see how sticky it is and for me the stickiness goes away eventually when I have applied a balm or you know a very light 
lip gloss or whatever over top it starts to fade and it starts to come off a lot quicker if you don't wear nothing at all so if you want these to get the most lasting power and staying power don't put anything over top of it because it it sort of activates the formula and makes it start to come off a lot quicker. The only way you're going to be able to remove this product is with a really strong makeup removing liquid like this. Do not use a makeup removing wipe. I tried it. It hurt my lips. It was too much tugging. This stuff is amazing. It takes it off immediately. And this is from Neutrogena. This is their oil free eye makeup remover. I know it's for eyes, but it really does get any sort of long lasting lip color off completely. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and apply the red one. This is not going to be easy. Let me just say this one is so bright. It's kind of, it's kind of hard to apply. So this is red my mind really bright. And I know it's showing up even brighter on camera, but actually in person it's more toned down. But for the price and for the pigmentation, I think they're pretty nice. They don't last eight hours, but uh, if you don't plan on eating and drinking, I guess they could probably last eight hours. Okay, so moving on to the Revlon ones. These are really nice. This is what the packaging looks like. I'll show you on this one here. Really nice packaging. I like the clear plastic, and they're really, like, durable. You know, like, I feel if you drop this, it's not going to break. The cap is really secure kind of hard to get off and it clicks so three clicks when you first twirl it up and then it's real easy to go up and down so these come in 20 different shades which is nice they have a nice selection of colors I picked these two colors because they were the darkest ones and I really like a long wearing dark lip color that's the ones I tend to want for long wearing this shade is called trendsetter and this one was they had a lot of different red ones to choose from and this one looked the most blue toned because I don't like orange so beautiful bright red color not as bright as it is in the tube I have to say so a little bit lighter swatched on the hand. And this one was the one that the model, I believe Olivia Wilde was wearing, and it's called Backstage. Luckily, I grabbed the last one. So this is Backstage. There's, it's like a burgundy wine color. So gorgeous. And the wash of color is a lot lighter than it is in the tube. So this claims to last all day long, all day color. It has shea butter and aloe in it, so it's supposed to be hydrating and moisturizing when you first put it on. It claims to have instant moisture, all day color, shea butter, aloe, and a soft suede finish. So definitely when you first put these on, they're very moisturized. I was very surprised at first. And then after a few minutes or so, it does start to dry and it starts to set to like a nice matte velvet finish, which is gorgeous and I'll go ahead and start and put the backstage one on and with unlike the wet and wild ones where you have to be really careful it's almost like putting on paint that's how I feel when you use the wet and wild ones these ones are really nice you don't have to worry about it drying or setting so fast you have time to work with it that's what I really love so I just put it on like a normal lipstick Oh, and you also can apply a lip liner before you wear these, especially like the darker ones. I'm not going to bother doing that, but if you want to, you can definitely do that. And you can rub your lips together. It's really creamy and buttery and soft. So after a few minutes or so, you'll start to see the shininess go away, and it'll start to dry up just a little bit, and it'll have more of like a matte type finish which is really interesting I think that these are the most interesting like long wearing lip colors I've ever tried and compared to the wet and wild ones these get really really tacky really fast and I don't like that tacky sticky texture these get a little bit tacky but it's so you know it doesn't bother me as far as all day wear I don't think they last all day but I would definitely say 
when I do put these on, they last a really long time through eating, through drinking. I just, I like the texture of these. They don't seem to dry my lips as much. One thing I don't like is how long it does take to set. Um, and I would advise not eating or drinking until it does set. And it takes a good five minutes, sometimes longer. I kind of have to do this a little bit. Because when you touch it right now, you can see it is coming off on my finger. When you do apply lip balm over top, it doesn't seem to wear off as much like when I explained about the Wet n Wild ones. Oh, I almost forgot about reapplying. Uh, the Wet n Wild ones, if you want to try to do a little touch up, I would definitely consider just gently patting the applicator all over the best you can. Maybe use your finger. These ones are not really good for trying to touch up your color throughout the day. I want to touch up with these. I think these are really great because you get that moisture when you first put it on. So I think these are really nice. So I'm going to take this color off backstage and put the other one on to show you what it looks like. And again, um, I love using this Neutrogena remover stuff to remove this as well. Okay, so this is Trendsetter. When you first apply it, it's a really beautiful color. It's a lot brighter than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little bit more mellow. Because if you see, the color's a little bit, well, you probably can't see it on camera, but it looks more, um, it looks more red in the tube. And then when you swatch it on your lips, it looks more like a raspberry pink. Okay guys, so definitely these, both of these products are really nice, and I have to say, you know, the pros and the cons. Well, these are very affordable, you're going to pay a lot more for the Revlon ones. The Wet n Wild ones don't last as long as the Revlon ones do. These are very affordable, I think these are great for beginners, so if you're wanting to try a long lasting lip color, definitely go for these first, and then maybe try a Revlon Suede lipstick. Revlon wins. Uh, my vote more than the Wet n Wild ones. All in all, they're both really nice products. I just think the Revlon ones are definitely way, way better. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If I left anything out, just leave a comment down below and I'll definitely answer any of your questions. And I hope you guys liked me doing the swatches on my hands and on my lips. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Put a thumbs up if you enjoyed this very different review, almost like a face-off, a battle of the long-lasting lip colors. And, and I will see you next time. Remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye, guys.